Hi everybody, I'm Desenia Bocanegra and welcome to my YouTube channel. In the last video, I shared with you my first impressions of the Sony A6000. This time, I'm sharing with you my impression of the Sony A6000 with the brand new 85mm 1.8 lens. Take a look. In the last video, I shared with you the combination of using the A6000 with the 50mm 1.8. In this round, I'm going to share with you the A6000 with the 85mm 1.8. Now this is the brand new 85mm lens that Sony came out with. And it's a budget lens and that means that it's about close to $600. Relatively inexpensive when you compare the 85mm 1.4 GM series. Now that does not mean that this lens does not produce amazing images. One of the first things that I loved about the quality or this lens in general is one is just so lightweight. So when you pair it up with the A6000, it's a really great combination. It is super light, so you can just be really running up and down on the go, especially if you're a, a children's or a family portrait photographer. So it, it really is very helpful just to have a really good gear or set of gear um, but it be relatively lightweight, so it really facilitates your job as a photographer. Not to mention, it really helps your body out because you know the lighter the 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 lighter the gear, the better for your body, right? Now the other thing that I really liked about this lens is that it does not have as much chromatic aberration when you compare it to the 50 millimeter 1.8. The 50 has quite a lot for my for my taste, honestly, but it's not. It's not something that you can't deal with in just like a couple of clicks in Lightroom. Now the 85 is just fantastic and I've been re using it for quite a while now uh, since I got it and I can't tell you enough how impressed I am with the quality of it, the sharpness and the really soft creamy bokeh that you can get. So you can see this in a couple of the images that I'm showing you right now. Now if you remember when I said uh, I recently changed from Sony to, from Canon to Sony I told you guys that I tried out this camera, the A6000, with my Canon lenses and I was not pleased at all. And you know, it is what it is. But I can tell you that, I can definitely tell you that the 50 millimeter and the 85 millimeter on this A6000, the sharpness of focus is really, really fast. So it's just ideal. Great combination. It really, if you, if you look at the numbers, it is a great way to or a great segue to get into Sony mirrorless system if you're a little bit unsure of investing a whole lot of money. So this is, you get a really great amount of gear for a reasonable amount of, of a reasonable budget and the results are going to be quite good. In our next video, I'm going to be sharing with you my first impressions of the Sony a7 II, which is my full frame camera and my main camera. Now I really love this camera because I compare it with the 5D Mark III, which is the one that I used to own before I switched to Sony. And it's really great because I can use this one with my Tamron lens, the Sigma lens, and obviously my Sony lenses that I just recently purchased. So I am very happy about this ability of me being able to use my previous lenses with the brand new Sony lenses that I recently got. But you're just gonna have to wait again for that video because it's I'm not gonna share everything right now, so sorry. But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, post questions, offer suggestions for upcoming videos too. And let's see, see you next time.